Captain Marston. Back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. I picked out a fine horse for you. Come on, time for you to see what a real ranch looks like. Come on. General store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Come on, boys. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Howdy. Hello, mister. Yeah! That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. drink, Mr. Marston. Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Come on, then. Let's mount up and take a look around. open and try not to get yourself shot again. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. We 
we should keep moving. There's still a ways to go. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Here we are. Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. I'm eagerly awaiting delivery of a new variety of bone saw. Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You 
You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland. Go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston.
Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Shut up, you! And what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. <coughs> I did? Apparently so. <coughs> Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. <coughs> you that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright, but he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking har. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Oh, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town... Let's head over to the saloon. Give an old man a chance to get the blood flowing. Hello there. So who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers in Armadillo spend more time with their hands in the air than on the range these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. The way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folks. There's the dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. Mount out, Marston. Walton's our man. Damn, he's seen us. Come on, don't lose him. Can't lose that trail, boy. Catch up with me when you can. as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. Outlawing's easy money for easy work. Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. the old Pleasant's house. Probably best we take it on foot from here. Slow it up now.
Looks like we got company, boys. Damn. Take cover. We'll work our way up this hill. Hey, yeah, you. Over here. Marston, I got you covered. Move up to that wagon. Behind the crate, Marston. It's a miracle you fools aren't dead already! Get to that crate! I got you covered! Take that feller behind the rock! Shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Excellent to see you today. Hi there. I'm selling some good tonics if you need them. I won't sell armaments. Why, for thank you. Whatever the profits may be. Be well. Come by any time. Mind where you're going, lady. I seem to have two left feet today. Seven three one. What is it with these things? Hello. It's a new line. Hello. Hello. Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. If it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. 
Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest to goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller twins and a couple of Mexicans. Are they up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's going to hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. And it'd be my pleasure. <laughs> 